Ah. So, Mia, this is a page called Virtual Box Gaming Wiki. And it says, these games work just fine in Virtual Box. So, Need for Speed High Stakes. We can add Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3. Because that worked just fine, didn't it? We can add to this. Apparently Half-Life 2 and Half-Life Source works. All the GTAs work on emulator. And Simpsons Hit and Run and World of Goo. They've got 20 listed here. But they've also got a list of games which are known non-working. So Portal, Bejeweled 3. That's kind of cool, right? I'm just going to go on to here so that I can see the chat more better, right? Ooh. Now, I know that I, I changed it to let's play old PC games. Right. Okay. So, we could add to this wiki after testing each game, right? We should ideally use the emulator because every time I try and use my PC, except from Lemmings, it fucks up. <laughs> the emulator is more safe for keeping the stream going, right? But I need to build up that proper PC, right? Get one. Okay, okay. Let's test some other games in the emulator. I wanted to test Tetris Worlds, but we can always load up the PC, right? I mean, the, the PS, PS2. Right. I don't know if this one will work, but it's mostly a 2D game. You'd expect it to. It does say that it works on Windows XP. That's a good start if it says XP on the box, right? We are getting moist about that. So you, t you unmount the drive, you go into here, you go into here. It says it doesn't work. And then you put it in. Yeah, Lemmings works great, and it works great on the um, Windows 11 as well. Like that's the only game we've found that works do both. Yeah, I'm not doing full install. We have to use the. We can use the no CD. Like if I have the CD, right? That's 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 allowed. Like we don't want to scratch up our discs for no reason, right? <laughs> But I'd rather just load it from the CD for testing purposes the first time. Right. Mia, I'm taking bets, right? Will it... Wait. Is 8-Ball even installed? Is Theme Hospital going to start? Not installed, yes it will.
Well, playing the intro video doesn't mean it works, right? Oh, there, Ricky. Ricky. Rip that guy, right? Ah, oh, yes. Hold on, Mia. I've got my speakers turned down. Ah, maybe I need to change it. Ah, oh, yeah, it's gone to blank device. Now it sh you should. Yeah, you can hear it now. But I was just gonna say, the mouse movement is fucking beautiful. That's all we ask for. We do some speed run. <clears throat> We're going easy. We whatever. Oh man.
Let's restart. Sorry, Mia. Just go home in the chat. Just go home in the chat. When I'm trying to fix something, I, I'm not seeing the chat. If you go in ham, I'll see it scrolling. <laughs> right. Try and load that up again. The, f the problem was the mouse was moving it a bit fast. I know if I play Theme Hospital on my Windows 11, it will kill off the stream. I know. Wow. It's loaded up in 16 bit color. What the fuck? There has to be, like, how I just had it. Why is it always starting 8-bit after playing that game? What the hell, dude? We'll let it get past the intro videos. That might help. Right. Ah. Why did it crash? We had it running earlier. We had it running in this mode. What the fuck? If I click it'll crack. Yep. <laughs> this would work just fine on a PC that's just captured. We had it running for a second. Okay. I would say that it works. <laughs> Like the disc installs unless I was playing. Let's try another game. We figured out how this optical thing, right? Because at first we didn't understand, right? So this one's Monopoly Tycoon. English. Install. Now, this is made by Roller Coaster Tycoon people. Did you know that?
So it's another Monopoly game. It says on the back, it says, Can them with a cinema, bag them with a supermarket, scoop them with an ice cream parlor, or hook them with fishmongers. What business will you build to satisfy the citizens and make your millions and bankrupt your opponents? Plan, invest, demolish, and build a beautiful real-time 3D living city populated by hundreds of citizens. From the people who brought you Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's what it says. No. Seems like it's worth That's literally the best emulator 3D graphics we've seen so far. Twenty one year old game. Oh, mouse is perfect. Look at all these different country street names to use. A lot of options for 2001. So the square is seven across, right? Thank you. 
The diner has 29 out of 36. What? Income 300, cost 200, profit is 100. Now you can see our money going up, right? Let's go to Whitechapel. Uh, I can't buy that. So The cafe is filling, the apartment is not filling up though. We don't have anyone in the apartment, so we might as well get more stores, right? Let's get a bar, yeah? And let's also build a night business of a theatre. Yeah, people are going in the bar. And that can hold 64 people. No one's in the apartments, though. Hmm. Let's speed up time. You're the first player to make the target number of sales. So we won. Okay, in incognito. I'll see you later. Take it easy. So we didn't do anything for ages and then we started winning. Okay. Great. We got one star. Oh, wait. You can go back and you can do it. So medium. 100 sales. Locked. So the only player is me. the next level maybe the next level we can have other players it looks like it's still locked right let's go to the yellows yeah and let's just start going home let's make the whole th let's make an apartment Floors, nine floor apartment. High quality build that costs eight thousand. And then I've only got five thousand left, but that's okay. Retail Bakery. High quality build. Three floors. We've got plenty of money for this. So 
So the bakery is zero out of 72, but that apartment's are both filled up. Oh, wait. I think that's bad. That profit is negative 263. That apartment is negative 1000, and that one is that. Let's do high speed. Is our money going down? Like, we need to find out what the people around need, right? The other one we will seem to make a lot of money. <laughs> I can't just go around building stuff. Can we restart? Build at least one apartment, then some stores to make a hundred and sale. Right. Let's let's go back to the Browns where I was the first time, right? So residential. And we're gonna have here and we're gonna have nine floors. Higher quality just costs more money. And then it says build retail. So let's get a bakery, three floors, high quality, and let's get um Clove store. And then let's get that. Four floors. Hi. That costs 2000 We've still got quite a bit of money now. And then we'll build. Doctor's surgery for healthcare. Wow, I don't think we can afford that. That must be five by four. Ah, it can be like that. Two floors high. And then we want to build... New stand. Two floors. High quality. Right, are we making money yet?
The apartment is full. Let's get a new apartment. I think it's full. But it looks like it's going down. It says you can look at the manual online. That's a bit shit, isn't it? <laughs> because that website probably won't be around anymore. After 21 years. Let's try and get another apartment, right? Although no one's moved into that apartment. Nine floors. High quality. We're making a huge apartment. Don't worry, there's already stores around, yeah? We're going to be bankrupt before you can say Dan's game. There's a lot of people around. I'm not seeing my money go up like we did before. Every time that guy talks, it slows down the game speed, which is annoying. Someone went into that apartment. Maybe we need low build quality. Let's go to the area next door and make different apartments here. So I'll just do this like just minimum. That just got money. So these low quality ones, I think that they're moving into, right? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. This one is making income. Look, it's, it's, it's below the red now. This one's making profit. Maybe it just takes time, yeah? This one is the money's going up now. This one is going up a little bit. The big tower is making a killing. You can see our money going up now. We're printing. Right. Do you think that it was because we were having the high quality ones and they didn't want to do it? We won. Right. So... You see, we went nine years without anything happening. Five years without anything happening. Let's start with low quality everything, right?
Ah, we're playing against this other player now. Let's stick with what we know. All these people, Mia. That's good. This one's printing money. Look at that. Our money's going ham. So we've got 80 sales and the other player's got none. So let's go in Old Kent Road. Let's get... Literally the whole thing is going to be this. We'll have night time for here, so we'll have bar. Right, you see our money's got deleted, but it's going to start going back up. He's got 36. This apartment's losing money. That's okay. Chance card, drought warning, you have paid 200 water tax for each unit of parkland you own. That was a chance card. This other one's just losing a lot of money. So now nighttime stores are open, so this one should start making money. You should see these numbers start to go up. not really long enough to know what doing this is the yellow player we absolutely wrecked him See, this one you've got to make 3,000 in daily sales and there's another player right okay so let's go back to our browns because we're good at this. So 
I'm gonna have a residential side. And then we're gonna have bakery. And then we're gonna have bookstore. Cafe. Diner. Jewelry store. We're in the red, but we don't care. These guys are doing nighttime businesses. I'm just doing daytime businesses. Let's do our chance card. New gas pipes. You've paid six dollars for each business you own. Money has gone to the owner of the gas work. I'm glad this game works, right? People haven't moved into these apartments. His empire value is worth 12,000. Oh, we just lost some more money. It's the AM. We'll start making profit now. We're minus 400. Minus 300. I guess we need more businesses. I'm gonna get a load of nighttime ones.
Like, I'm taking my chance. If you can build, I'll build. Because it'll make money back afterwards. Right. High speed. Now, I know I'm minus 2,000 something. But there's more businesses, more printing, right? This time tomorrow, if you're in the red, you'll be ejected from the game. Okay. We're making profits, okay. We got a chance card. You've paid your insurance premium of 500. I lost another 500. Not good, bad. We need to get above minus 2,900, but as soon as nighttime comes, this nighttime businesses will print. But as soon as it's coming up to now, the daytime business is just here. We should make a lot. Sorry, just here. Now that apartment's making money, right? Got forty one tenants. This is for an auction. Ahoy! Yeah. Ahoy! Yeah. Ahoy! We're currently at minus four thousand and stuff. Yeah. Having an auction. Ahoy! <laughs> right, our money's going off a bit. think Mia that if our evening businesses don't do well we'll try again but what we need to do is only build stuff that we need because I think if you build too much you're minus money and you have to pay gas water electric and all that shit for those buildings so if you go too ham you don't have enough shoppers
We won a red block. So how does that work? We're making back money on that already because it's already everything is built they need. So you, you want to win auctions, that's what we've learned. So the next time we play, because look, we got bankruptcy. I knew that was going to happen. Like that's over time and we lasted a few years that time. Right, so I'm understanding now. Are you understanding? I'm understanding. Let's go more closer to the middle of the city, right? Go to the yellows. So, let's start with residential. And have a 4x4. And then let's build another one and then two retail stores so a bakery and let's have dine right we'll just see if our money's going up But we've still got 5,000 to buy a block if we need to. No one's living in the apartments right now. So these two stores, this is losing 52 bucks, and this one's losing 9 bucks. This one's losing max, and this is losing max, because no one's fucking living there. So in that case, we need more stores. But we'll win, win the auction when it comes, right? I think there's an auction coming up.
Let's lower the rent, right? Maybe someone will come. Tenants today, four out of four. Rent today, 72. So we'll up the rent. And here, the bakery. Cost selling, yesterday's sales, stock I want, stock I have, today's sales, 25. Let's make it 350. Or more, more sales, right? I didn't know you could adjust the sales. Oh, there's one stock left. Right, that means the stock is all sold out, right? So we need another one of these places. That's what we're understanding. Let's have a newsstand. And two floors, because we've got more stock capacity, right? And then in the newsstand, we'll make that. But it's night time, so it's closed. And the shoe guy has already won. We were never making profit. You know why we wasn't making profit? Because we sold out of our stuff. Right. We'll try again. Go to the red. There's loads of buildings all around, right? I'm not going to do any residential at all, right? So, let's put all our night businesses here. And then we want as much capacity as possible. I just cost more money. I have a cinema there. Capacity is 180. Ah, dancing costs 150 and the selling is 1750. Right. Let's put some day business dairy store. That has a capacity of 36. And that has a capacity of 48, up it to 72. And let's have a diner. And that's got a capacity of 72. Now we're in the red, pretty much. But you see our money's going up. We haven't made much money though, only a little bit. How to do? We've got a chance card, you have paid 300. That's okay. Our nighttime big businesses are about to open, yeah?
Someone else has built something there. Dickheads. Is that a residential that they built? Yeah, it is. Apartment. By the shoe. That's okay. Because maybe our cinema will now will make more money. Right. We've got over a thousand now. So let's go over here. And because it's coming up to daytime, we want some retail day, right? Let's get a jewelry store in there. And then let's get clothes store. Because we want as much capacity as possible. And then we'll get fish market for COVID. Right. So these day businesses are ready to sell. Yeah. Ah, oh, this mode is probably better, right? Because you can see where all the buildings are. I prefer this 2D, right? Battleship guys building his stuff all over there. So income split high, medium, low, children, adults, seniors, tourists. It's kind of cool, this. I like this game. We're printing money, though. If I could buy this, this here. We got a chance card. There's a lot of people walking past this yellow, right? We can't really build anything because we ain't got the money. Block prestige. Building rights. Ending soul rights. Block ownership. This guy's got battleships, got two thousand profit because all his people are over there. Like you can't take a loan in it because it's just like a Monopoly game, but it's live, right? You see what I mean? It's not like you take your turn. You play at the same time. And it's coming to the daytime business scene.
Right, all the people are waking up now. Here we go. I'm the Meister. Yeah, I'm not making a lot of profit out. If you have more stores, they have more costs. I don't get it. How do you make more money? I think I've got a new strap. This guy's going to win because he's going to get to 3,000. He won. Right. I've got a new strap. Because this is a strategy game. I'm going to go to the green here. No, wait, I'm going to go to the cheap one over here. And here, I'm going to build each one one time. So that anything that they want, you can get. Until we're out of money. Doctor's surgery. Can't afford that. Electrical store. Fish market. Furniture store. Grocery store. Can't fit that there, so we'll do that in the next step. Wow, my one is going to fast now. Right. I'm very close to being first. So we need furniture store. But I guess it's coming up to night. So let's do a couple of night ones. There's only five different night ones. Someone else is building there. Right. Let's go to the world map. See all my red stuff?
So, as soon as we've got money, we build stuff on Park Lane, right? So, retail, bakery. Can I afford it? No problem. Our profit's the highest. We're winning. Finally. We still got a thousand. So now we do bookstore. And we make sure that. Well, that can go up to six floors. Let's build it. I think we're getting it, right? Everyone's gone to bed, so now it was waiting for the next day. I'm minus 2,000 in money. I don't want to be minus 2,000 the next day. Now we're minus 6,000. We better have a lot of sales. Nine AM people are awake. Coming up to the evening time, can I get above 2,000? I've already made 3,000, but you need to make 3,000 in profit. So you pay back your bills, and then it's profit after that. We're not far behind. We've got a chance card. Is it going to help? We lose 500, whatever. We're printing money now. We've gone up in the first place. 2,000. We need 3,000 to win. We must get there. Because if we don't, then we will lose the game at midnight because we're overdrawn. We can't just take a loan. Yeah, we lost. So that was close. So that strat was kind of interesting. Like the first day we did okay. The second day we lost a lot at the beginning, but we made so much profit. Hmm. People are coming out of these stations, so let's go here.
I just want to see if this is going to work. Oh, you don't have enough money to do that. Right, we can't get more than minus 10k, right? So, hopefully by midnight, I'm not minus. <laughs> we'll see. Everyone's going home to bed. Like they are minus three, uh, 1,000 and I'm at the top with only minus 300, right? In today profit, in the bottom left. So now it's gonna be nine o'clock and people will be awake and now I'll start buying stuff. Oh baby. Still in the lead. I don't think we're going to make it to zero. I don't have even in businesses. I think I made my apartments far too big. Not going to work, is it? Yeah, look, they're making profit now that it's coming to evening time. Should we watch a YouTube video how to do? Tips, yeah.
Right, let's look at a video of how to do it, right? No commentary. Overview of game mechanics. Hey there everybody, this is Deegan from Deegan Network, and welcome to a new addition to Deegan Network, Monopoly Tycoon. Uh, I decided to do this Let's Play slash, it's more of a strategy guide really. Um, Primarily because I know I really enjoyed this game as a kid and uh, it's very nostalgic to me. But at the same time, I like to celebrate my 500 views and uh, thank you everybody for viewing my videos. But let's get into Monopoly Tycoon already. All right. Unfortunately, the sound, the music is not working on Windows 7. So I'm going to have to improvise. And I actually have the soundtrack on my computer. So I'll be playing those in the appropriate years. Let's just go ahead and uh, go through the settings here. Um, you can actually pick, I did not know this until now, um, but you can actually pick the board that you want. So if you're from the United Kingdom, you can pick your United Kingdom board. Uh, you know, New Zealand has its own monopoly type of thing. And you can really do that, but I'm just gonna stick with the United States because I'm used to that. Very sad that I don't have Japan on there that would be better. Uh, you can go through the gameplay. I'm not really going to adjust any of this stuff. The sound. Uh, music volume. I guess maybe. Oh, that's really loud. Alright, let's do that. There we go. Got sound graphics. Hi, trilinear. Alright, I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and go with single player and a single player campaign okay so let's go ahead and do gold cup and I've beaten this game before when I was a kid so I don't really need to do any bronze or silver let's go ahead and do the first scenario and I will be explaining the mechanics of the game so this is like an introduction episode so he's explaining so how to do description you must make a hundred sales of any commodity in order to complete this level you will need to build businesses in order to make sales so pick a block and get started to see how many sales you have made in the total, check sales in the player comparison panel. Okay, so now we have our characters. Uh huh. I want to go ahead and explain all the characters. Uh, just my take on them. For me, I like to create a story out of the different characters that are available in the game. And we'll start with the race car. Obviously, you know, the tokens the that you use in the board game, they made a character out of it, but they didn't rename them so my take on race car is a italian guy and he's gay <clears throat> and uh yeah now when you read the profile here it says uh he has a preference for the expensive end of town and not too worried about going in the red meaning he is not afraid to spend money he likes uh more prestigious blocks in monopoly tycoon and the 24 hour warning meaning if you end up in the red and then the day is over, the next time around, your cash symbol will be blinking in red. And then afterwards, if you go another day of that, you can't go back positive, then you are out of the game. You are declared bankrupt. Wheelbarrow. I find Wheelbarrow to be one of the most annoying NPCs around. He's really annoying. See, it says down there, uh, although generally good-natured, Bullshit. Uh, Wheelbarrow can become one of the aggressive, one of the most unpredictable characters in the city. This Belgian fuck. <laughs> That's uh, my take on Wheelbarrow. Well, Hold on. I think he's. Mia, yeah, what he's saying is only the race car, which we've played every time, has the thing where after 24 hours, if you're still bankrupt, you're permanently out of the game. Each person has different features. We need to understand what he's saying about each character. French, but he's kind of annoying. Dog, um, dog can be unpredictable as well, but she doesn't talk. I think she's like mute, and her little terrier does the talking. I actually like dog, but uh, as a character, I just don't really care. 
far. Tannen is really awesome. He's a military dude. And he's uh, extremely homophobic. Yep. He's willing to invest into cheaper blocks, meaning he likes low quality blocks. And let's see here. Upcoming success story in the future. More than most, he finds himself pulling pulled towards the more populated areas of the city. So he, this is someone that you really need to watch out for. Cannon, I find to be really annoying. He can either be at the very bottom or he will be at the very top. Uh, top hat. He's kind of like a mystery man. He's a metrosexual magician and building an empire in the cheaper district. But And he usually moves quickly, if sometimes erratically, spreading confusion in his wake. He is the one to watch if you enjoy a roller coaster ride. Yeah, or he's just going to spread like the plague and uh, he's really annoying as well. Uh, horse, horse is someone that you should watch out for. She could either be completely in debt or she could be completely on top. Uh, horse is really cool though. She looks like a cow, cowgirl tomb raider type of thing. Okay, she's a country girl, blah blah blah. She can rush decisions at times and panic when things are gets tight. I love tight. <clears throat> she tends towards blocks of average value and attracted to blocks that are home to uh, the city's citizens. So she's actually a smart player, so be careful. Iron, she's probably the worst NPC in the game. Um, she rarely wins in my opinion. But she's so sm uh, slow. However, she's very methodical and very one of the most cunning players at Monopoly Tycoon. And uh, she she could when she does win, it's a miracle. It's a complete fucking miracle. Just be careful on uh, Empire Value or the yeah Empire Value I believe parts or fuck scenario. Sorry about that. I have a roller coaster tycoon in my head. I love tycoon games. They're so fun. Battleship, he's the gay navy dude. He's a navy captain. I uh, retired. And uh huh, he he will consider his position carefully before making his move. When you know when you get to know him, he is rather a nice chap who is fond of his pipe. Ha, <laughs> his pipe. Yeah. Master Batur. Okay. And finally oh, I think we have one more, yeah, thimble. So we'll go to shoe. This guy, I think he's I don't know. He looks like a Holocaust survivor, and I don't mean that in a in an offensive way. But uh, he, he's just a funny guy to look at. I mean, look at him. He, he's hilarious. I have no other way to describe him. Uh, okay, he's a cobbler by trade. Blah blah blah. And see, Shu is very careful. Oh, it's pretty offensive, don't you reckon? At me? times, appear rather too cautious, prone to slipping out of. Oh, he's talking about Holocaust. He says that there's like a gay and sailor and all this. He could be there's no need for that. He's a warm-spirited chap and a genuine soul. Yeah, because he's been through hell. Uh, Thimble. Thimble is just, she looks like a rich bitch. Uh, my father used to play Monopoly Tycoon, and he would always pick Thimble as his avatar. Okay. Uh, however, when on a 24-hour warning, she might well contradict her otherwise bullish nature, uh, bearing in mind that so not so long ago she was running a small fashion house. This is a big step for her. So she's like the newbie in the group. However, she can be a total bitch. She's not afraid to use the freaking gay ass uh chance cards that you get so they really took let's go ahead and start the game i'll explain this on the way they really took the uh essence of the board game into the actual game itself what the fuck all right so this is the uh sales screen and this is like your player tab and this is a lot of this goes with the challenges uh sales obviously it's like who can get the most sales or whatever let's see let me just go ahead and activate my music oh yeah there we go okay you got your cash this is you know your cash screen you got your businesses number of businesses that you have over here you got your today's profit which is cool this is actually a challenge a scenario like a winning condition empire value is basically like park value on roller coaster tycoon and this is also a winning condition okay uh yesterday 6 a.m cost is i will be explaining this later it's basically your stocking um how much money that you gain at the end of the day or how much money that you you know have to pay to restock your merchandise at the end of the day 
Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the blocks. You have pretty much everything in the in the actual board game. And if you pick a different board, these little, you know, titles will be different, obviously. So let's take a look at the different places. Okay, so this is the city panel screen, and it is really helpful. You could, you know, you get information on your people in the city, which I pretty much never use, but you can if you'd like. It's pretty much uh, showing you, you know, how many people are housed, how many people are tourists, you know, how many people, you know, the age difference, the income is probably the most important, and the housed one is probably the most important as well. If the house is low, you can build an apartment and benefit from it, but if it's already at 80%, there's really no point. And the income split, it's already at 30%, so it doesn't really matter which, you know, block you build on. So he says if the housing's at 80%, don't build any more houses. Okay. That's what you could have told us 10 minutes ago, dude. He's been talking shit for 10 minutes. But I think he's now starting to explain how to do it, right? Do you agree? We could make a much better video than this. Like, apparently this guy's got 500 subs. 215 subs. This is a nine-year-old video. Let's see if we can learn something else, right? All of them are beneficiary. And uh, my finances, this is your finance screen, don't care. Locate my business, don't care. And this is probably one of the most important aspects of the screen. You can pick a block to pull. Uh, I will go to Baltic, dark purple, and there's oh, an apartment. Shit, dude. You can only do this on the apartment screen, or if there's an apartment there. Okay, so there are 17 people living here, and you want clothes, you want movies, and bread. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Also, when you do the, uh... <laughs> Dude, I will tell you how it works, yeah? The reason I'll tell you how it works is because, whoa, he just explained the main thing you need to know. So basically, you build a house, like a big one, right? The one that you can afford. You let people move in, and then you ask them what they need. Right? And whatever they need, you build. You'll make the biggest amount of profit, right? How to do. That's all we need to know now, because we can print now.
64% is house, yeah? They want clothing and books and movies, yeah? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to slow down the speed. We want clothing, books, and movies. What was that first one that I did? We need to win this. He pulled out. We won. Right? Now we've lost a lot of money, but people will want the stuff that we've built here. Because we own that Mayfair now. Yeah, we're making profit already. Nine o'clock, they start buying stuff. Here we go. Oh, we're printing. Thank you. 
We're still going to be in the red though, right? Damn it. But we're at 1700. If we can get to 3000. It's going to be close. There's a chance card. Give us 500 bucks. Come on. And we're dead. I don't know. We can come back to this game. I'm getting irritated. But this game is good. Right. The next game is going to be... So Monopoly Tycoon, we like that. Junior Monopoly, we couldn't get it to work. This game is called Mystery of the Mummy. Now, this game, if we do this, this game is a Sherlock Holmes game. So Sherlock Holmes Mystery of the Mummy. Right? There is an Egyptian mummy that we've got to investigate. Wait, you can claim a free game? Shut up. Oh. Holy shit. This one advertises some other game. Let me see if I can show you on eBay. <clears throat> so. These games. This is advertising the box, right? Murder case to solve. Find and convict the murderer. How can we get something that's got this? Oh, wow. We're dumb. We should have got this. This dark motives one I don't have. We have the middle one. I don't have that either. The only one of those I've got.
Why are these games so expensive? Do we need to do short lowest? Hmm. We could probably get it for literally nothing if we just remember to look for that when we're trying to buy like a box of 40, right? So if we do PC game, job lock. So when you see something like this, this has got Lemmings Revolution, but we don't want that. Hitman Blood Money, we've already got that. I can't see what version of Worms that is. I've already got Worms World Party on uh, PlayStation. So, that one's okay. It spids at 99, right? So we can watch that and see what it sells for. This here. This is what we're looking for. This is literally what I've already bought. Something like this. I've got that Scooby Doo game. I've got Roller Coaster Tycoon. So let's see what they have, right? World of Warcraft, there. There's no point in buying that. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, Murder She Wrote, that one, and Agatha Christie Mysteries. Those two we'd be interested. Silent Hunter 3. I've got 1 and 2, but not 3. Encyclopedia Britannica Deluxe. This says Codemasters. Football Manager 2008. Modern Warfare 2. There's Theme Hospital again. Bejeweled Sims 2. We'll watch that as well just to see what happens. But we're looking for PC job lot, right? And we want there to be at least 20. Now, this is the PC version of Deadly Intent. We'd be interested in getting that. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Testmaster 9000, I've already got. And the Millionaire Second Edition, I've already got. So that's $9.99. We're not paying nine 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 for that game when we don't really want the others, so that's a no from me. Here's another example. We've got two copies of Theme Hospital already. But we don't have Cruise Ship Tycoon. And that's six ninety five for eight. Not bad. Here, here's another one. This starting bids is 13, right? So what do you get? Angry Bird Space. I did see someone that had like um an Angry Bird 3 and 1. I I like Angry Bird. These are mostly kiddies games. Colin McRae 2.0, I've seen that. Yeah, that one we don't want. Here, this is bids at 10, buy for 20, right? So 
that's CSI. Is that the CSI one I've already got? I think it is. You got driver on PC, which is quite uncommon. Like that would be really good on an XP machine. Like that would be better graphics than the PS1 version. Here's a hundred. That's a Cossacks, huge box. The Mark, Football Manager, Football Manager, Chairman. Sherlock Holmes Nemesis. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get this image in a new tab. Because then we can see better. So down here is Sherlock Holmes Nemesis. Age of Mythology and Age of Mythology Titans on the one disc. And there's another Age of Mythology without the Titans below that. And it's got SimCity 4. I don't have that. But I know about that game. So we want to look at the next picture. CSI. Just the first one, Thief 2. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, DVD. That's not a game. And the Clockwork Man DVD. Empire Earth and Empire Earth 2. SimCity 3000. We saw 4000. And Train Simulator. Let's get this last page. In a new tab. So this one's got Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, Scooby Doo, Warcraft 3 this time. <clears throat> got Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened Remastered, The Settlers Heritage's Heritage of Kings, Mahjong Masters, FIFA 2002, and Monopoly. And Sims 3. I've got Sims 2. So for a hundred, how much do they want? The bids are at ten fifty, so we'll watch that. That's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Where I could pick out like ten things that are probably decent and collect up all the shit ones and just relist all the shit ones. Like other people might find that some of the shit ones are decent. You just see what I mean? It's just my opinion of what's decent. Like here is all the Worms games. Now, all you have to do is collect up the Worms games from different packs that you've bought and relist them here for like 11. You, you see what I mean? You buy the large packs and make up smaller packs and sell those. So these ones that have got packs of like three or five, fuck those. Not interested. I'm interested if there's like 40 games. Here's another one. Very good picture. So you've got Football Manager 2012 Medieval, The Sims Original CD Version 1. Interesting. Battlefield 4, Football Manager, Football Manager, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Sims Hot Day Expansion, Black and White. That's a good game. Colin McRae 1, Sims 2 University, Sims 2. Sims, Medal of Honor Collector's Edition DVD, Star Wars Old Republic, Sims 2, Hospital Tycoon, School 2 Tycoon, Black and White again, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Civilization 4, I've got that, Tokotorin Cars 2, Modern Warfare, 
Age of Mythology Gold Edition. Grabble, Tiger Woods, Age of Empires 3, Age of Empires 3 Expansion. Elder Scrolls Morrowind, Worms 2. Sim Sims, Black and White, Third Time. Age of Kings, Age of Empires 3 again. Age of Kings, I've seen in the store for like 15 bucks. Like, I could sell that to the store. That one is currently bids at $14.95. So we'll watch that one. This one's from the United States, and these are larger sized ones. We've got Quake 4, Die Hard, Chronicles of Riddick. This would be interesting to see how much that actually sells for. Ah. He's doing them all separately. We don't want that. That sucks. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. This is four different CSI games. Which ones do I not have? This CSI Miami, I've got that. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish. The top one up there, we've played that. That's good. CSI New York, the game. That could be interesting. And you've got three dimensions of murder. Like this one is 18. Is it really worth 18? Not really. Like, I got 120 something for 20 bucks, right? That's the kind of ones that we want, right? That's another game we don't have there. Civilization Five and Sim City Societies. Those two games I don't have. So sixteen for eighteen, not interested. Now I was saying this to my mom. We've got loads of games of the Sims and their expansion packs. Some people will want these. Here's 18. CSI, CSI. CSI, CSI. There's Dark Motives, Deadly... These are all CSI games, right? Fatal Conspiracy, PC version. Hard Evidence, PC version. Three Dimensions of Murder. The original, Deadly Intent, Dark Motives. Agatha Christie, and Law and Order. That would be 20. And if we didn't have any, that we would get that. We would get that. This one has the Italian job. Add CSI. CSI seems very popular. Nearly every single one of these bundles has a CSI game, right? <laughs> but we know that they're a lot of fun. This one is mostly war games. That one over there, I've got that. Oh, man, should we catalog the PS2 games? <laughs> Imagine how long it's going to take, right? 
And then we can see exactly what we've got. If I take a picture, I can show you how quickly I can do it. That's a good idea, right? So in here, there is a folder that's Brad's games, right? And then in here, like down the bottom, I've got Wii. So these are all the Wii games I've got. But I could give each game a rating as well, right? Uh, we've got Mega Drive. So Fantastic Dizzy. I need to delete that because we don't have it. And I've put multi here if it's on a six pack cartridge. So I just relist this in A to Z. And I put Sega Soccer seems like World Cup Italia 90. Because it does. And then I've got Master System games here of two. So I've got Alex Kidd NTSC version. PS1 games here. I'll put their conditions as well, so I know if I want to upgrade something. Let's start on the easy one. Whoa. Right. Okay. So we have Oh, I didn't do that properly, did I? That guy, he said that the UGO game was expensive. Should we check the price, right? I'll keep that to one side. The box is broken, but I can put it in a different box. We thought Disney Hercules was pretty good, didn't we, Rain? I'm going to put next to the Mortal Kombat Trilogy box only. 
but I know I need to buy that. Because that, that was one that I definitely wanted. So, right. Let me just put them to the side. I'm going to search this Yu-Gi-Oh game, right? Because the game does start. Right? But it's, it's, it's not the sort of game I want to play. Let's have a look. Nine ninety nine. People have given this one. Uh, let me check on the other website. It, uh, they will give me seven cash to the store for that. I will just check the condition of the disc. Condition of the disc is not good. <laughs> but it has the manual, right? Yeah, that's 15. Are we Googling all of them? Right? So Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. Why have we gone on to Sonic? Maybe they don't have that one. They have PS2. They have it on PSP and PS2. So they don't have that. That's okay if they don't have it. Just for science, I want to see how much this. This way they would give three. That's the rubbish. <laughs> right, Worms World Party. They don't have it on PlayStation. Maybe they don't accept that game. Tomb Raider 1. Ah, we need to search in here for PS1 games. Here, they would give 2 for that. That's not a lot, right? <laughs> Might as well play the game. Right, so next we need Star Wars. And this needs to be in PlayStation 1 game. And the game is Phantom Menace. They don't have it even listed. That means that they don't want it.
dude. You gotta spell this right. They don't have that at all. Right. That doesn't work. Driver for PlayStation. There it is. 80 cents. Well, they can fuck off. That's not a lot, is it? <laughs> Kickboxing knockout. I couldn't even find it on there. So. Hercules PS1 game. It's neither of these, and look at the price of that, right? Ha! Huh, right? <laughs> like, if we searched eBay for that, right? I don't even know what it looks like. Price high to low. We need video game. Wow, look at this. Hercules, Hercules, Nintendo 64, right? 800. What the fuck? Dude? Why is that so expensive? <laughs> Why? Is this the one? That's quite expensive at 293, right? Like, look at this. This is why when you buy packs of games that people haven't properly Googled and you find something like amazing like this. They don't have this for sale, but they want to buy it for that much. That's crazy, right? That's not the one that I've got. So Shell Shocks, they don't have that game. FIFA 2000, they'll buy for one cent. All the FIFA games is literally nothing. But this is the first one that's on PlayStation and that, well, that's on PC actually. We wanted to see more combat trilogy, I bet it's five. Cool. 
Look here. See this? They'll buy it for 10. Yeah. This is my most valuable game, yeah? Like, the box is in good condition, but I don't have the disc. So if I had or could buy the disc for less than 10, I could just sell it straight up to the shop. On the Saturn, it's 160. You're understanding, right? You will just get it on the cheapest system when you have all the systems here, right? Like, do I have it on Steam? Oh, Steam doesn't open, does it? So I can go to the Steam page. <laughs> Imagine how many games I will need to update when I last played on the 21st of June. And it's nearly a month away. I haven't played any Steam games for a month, right? Crazy. So, if we look at my game, do I have Mortal Kombat Trilogy? I've got 11, 10, and 9. So I don't have that on PC. N64 is 80. And on PC it's 8. Interesting. PS1 is most popular. Right, how much is that on eBay? What the fuck, dude? Look at this. 150. PS1. $79.99. You see, I was banking on the fact that it came with the console and it wasn't in there, right? So he probably took out the disc. Don't you agree, right? This here is a miniature key ring. Not the actual game. Kind of funny. This is just the book and the paper. Japanese. Interesting. See here, manual and case for six. You see that? Not even the game. This guy's got disc only and it starts with bids. He's not selling it for that much. The manual for $14.99. You see what I'm saying, right? I've got the manual right here. The manual's in mint condition. Look, this is disc only. I wonder how much they're for Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Let's see. $14.99. It's a 1995 game, yeah? It's nearly 30 years old. Which is insane. Don't you reckon? 
This one comes from Lithuania. You see these scratches here on this side of the disc? That disc is fucked. That won't work. Like, are they trying to scam somebody? I hate this. They show all these games and you're like, whoa. And then you have to select so stupid. I hate that. There's only 60 for sale on the entire eBay. That's crazy. Like, it's a shame that I didn't get the disc, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> At least the PlayStation works. That's the main thing. <laughs> Don't you reckon? At least the PlayStation works. Unlike Mr. Mega Drive, yeah. So if I put in PS, we type that wrong. PS One job lot. We're looking for a guy. Has got like this a bunch of games, and these are mostly sports, right? Except for the two Crash Bandicoot games, I wouldn't get that. Here's another one, right? There's four different army men games there, and army men was kind of popular when I was younger. I never got them. Though. He must put on the PlayStation One sucks. I played it before. This is Rayman Quake 2, Duke Nukem Doom, and Duke Nukem again. That could be kind of interesting. Got Dino Crisis as well. What's up, Mike? Everyone's heard of Dino Crisis, right? It's like Resident Evil with dinosaurs. We played that game before. Like, is it is it worth it just for that game? The bids are twenty four right now. I don't know. Like anyone that puts discs like this flat on the table, I never want to buy those. Like you could put them on some soft cloth or something, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, there is some okay games there, like... Yeah. Time Crisis is an Amco classic. I would rather have the box there. So V Rally is a classic. And this Micro Machines V3, that's a really good game. Buster Move 2, you don't see that a lot. This Tekken 2 is here. And Casper. Rayman and Spyro. That's why the bids are already at 26. Because of those games.
I would say that they're shit games. Their price is 32 though. <laughs> 36 PS1 games. Let's in a new tab that one. So they've got Necronomicon. What the hell is that? I've never heard of that. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Fuck that game. This is Snowboard Racer. It's not Snowboard Racer, that other one. It's Snowmobile Racing. That box one that I've got has never been opened. But Smackdown 2 and Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider Last Rev Revelation. Tiger Woods, Tomb Raider Chronicles. Driver 2. Command and Conqueror. That's the first time I've seen that, yet that was wildly popular when I was younger. You know what you don't see? Gran Turismo. You know what you don't see? Metal Gear Solid. People sell those games separately. You don't see them in packs like this. Like, you'll never see Metal Gear Solid. That's the first worms. The, these are when people have listed them and they haven't sold. So they've just put 10 together. So, Stuart Little 2, I've got those. Tomb Raider, I've got those. Simpsons Wrestling is shit, but whatever. Die Hard Trilogy is an interesting game. Very dated, but an interesting game. Thirty four ninety nine. Got V Rally. That snooker game. I've got that on PC. And then the rest are just sports. Really, fuck that. One. Here is Star Wars Rebel Assault, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Two, Harry Potter, Smackdown, Smackdown Two, GTA London, Die Hard Trilogy, Tomb Raider Two and Three. That'll probably get quite high bids. It's currently at 36. And that's also a collection in person from Lutterworth. So less people will bid on that. Here we have a stack of 18. Crash Bandicoot, Oddworld, Tekken, Tomb Raider. True Pinball, Pinball Power. Eminem shell shocked. Peter Pan. See, someone's already bid forty one for that. Like PS one games are very expensive, like coming up to now. This is forty PS one games here. We all need to open this in a new So Tekken 3, they have both Oddworld games, Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 7, Theme Park World, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, Smackdown 2, GTA 2, Final Fantasy 8 again, Broken Cases for Medal of Honor, Colin McRae Rally, Rayman 2, Hercules, I've got that game. Like, that is a decent collection. Got Bomberman there as well. That's already at 47 bids, that's crazy. Here, this one has Metal Gear Solid. Price starts at 50. Yeah. I, I've got the box, but I don't have the game. Like, these ones are at bids. What you want to do is you want to do sold. Right? And you'll see what it's sold for. Bids, 1501. Bids, 20. 
So that's 20 with free postage and 1501 with three postage. So that's a total of 18 and that's a total of 20. This one is 27 in bids. This is the special missions. This is not even the game. It's a, like a DLC, right? 33.55 just happened. This this guy got it for 13. He got a bargain, that guy. Fuck that guy, right? This guy paid 45 for all of these. What did he get? Tomb Raider 2, Rage Racer, Crash Bandicoot, and Metal Gear Solid. See, that shows you what this stuff is worth. Someone paid for those six games, 45. You see why I'm not too happy about collecting for PS1. Like if I if I go to purchase history, this is the sort of thing that I like to get, right? Seven PS two games. Of which I have one for seven. So they're like a dollar each, dude. And for me, they're longer games and better graphics, right? Than PS1. I don't know as I'm going to get any more PS1 games. I don't know. Does that, does that sound bad, right? I got the system, but for like the collection. But it's so expensive to get the games, right? So expensive. As you could say, stupidly expensive. Like, if I could just get, like, 200 and take them home quickly and then list them all on eBay, that'd be fun. But, like, <laughs> it's a risk with stuff that costs more. If you buy 150 PC games for 20 bucks and you sell, like, four or five for a total of 20 bucks, that's making money. If you are buying PS1 games, 45 bucks for six... And you put them on eBay, they don't sell. Well, it's a financial risk, isn't it? Right? I feel that PS4 games are quite expensive in the store, and especially PS5. So I've mostly got PS2 and PS3 games. I'm getting what is the most cheapest right now. Right, sometimes I see these pictures of these people that are saying that you get 10 random games. 10 shit games. Yeah.
I wonder if I can... Like here is another example, yeah? 33 PS2 games. But just 40, right? Six PS1 games for 40. You get 33 for PS2. PS2, in my opinion, is way better. I like even here, two boxes of ZX Spectrum games, yeah? Hello. This box is games. This box is tapes from magazines. I guess you'll get some free games in those tapes. And if you look at the date, 1990, if I open this in a new tab, you'll see. Look, 1990. 1989 just happened. I got too many tabs. When I can't click them, I got too many. Yeah, that's the one I'm on. Those other tabs. But twenty games for twenty nine fifty bargain rate. But I, I prefer to only get like. When there's 10, it's 10 that I don't have. That's what I would prefer, right? Look at this. This would be brilliant, right? Xbox 360, 80 games, 100. Is that as good as a picture you can see? You can't even see what they are. Meh. Here's 75 games to 64, yeah? It's all different console. UMD, Wii, 360. I look at these and I realize that a lot of the games I've already got, like particularly for the Wii. Like the Wii, I've got nearly 100 games, right? I've got mostly the ones I want to get. I've looked in the store about 10 times at the Wii games, and I don't see any games that I want to get. Mostly they're kiddie games, yeah. And not only that, on PS4, right, you've got all the free games on the store, right? It makes you less likely to buy, actually, yourself. Like, there's Tony Hawk 1 and 2 on PS4, right? It's coming in August. Instant download. Instant loads of trophies. Here's 99 PS2 games. Like, some of them I've got. And some of them I don't. Soul Calibur 3, I don't have that. I think I'll continue to get PS2 games, right? Like here's 107 PS2 games. So simple to get PS2 games, yeah? And like, if I get duplicates... I can just take out the duplicates and sell them <laughs> every now and again and and get like a hundred back, right? PSP games are becoming cheap as well, right? I've noticed this. 
That's a lot of PSP games. The movies, not really. I wouldn't really want the movies. A lot of them are movies. Selling on eBay the stream. No, I'm, I'm not talking about selling like, like a, a shop's worth of games, right? I'm talking about continuously buying games have a ton of games to play and every now and again checking for duplicates and listing the duplicates and the shit ones back on eBay, right? Like this guy's, I've looked at that one already, and that's a hundred PC games. I looked at that already. I don't know what to do about that snowmobile racing. You know the one that's complete in box. That's sealed. They have this, but it's different. That's the problem. Maybe I could do a giveaway on a stream for it. Because it's not too heavy. <laughs> Like, fuck knows where it came from and who it was made by, because it's not that. It's a different one than this. But it could be worth like 10 times more, potentially. Do you know what I mean? So I contact this guy and say, this snowmobile racing, where'd you get it? Because I got one and it's not the same. <laughs> he's from the United States, right? He's in California. I wonder if there's a Wikipedia page. Look, it's not even listed in here. On GT Interactive Games. GT is the publisher though, right? So, Second South Studios. That's the people that made it, right? This is the game, right? This is what it looks like. There's no graphics for the floor there, that's kind of fucked up. Though.
This video has 4,000 views. Not many. But you can get it on here for free, right? Ten megabytes? What the hell? Is this on floppy disks? <laughs> floppy disks, right? This is the only game that they've ever made. Second South Studios. Is it a virus.exe? <laughs> Score 5.1. Mediocre. Read review. Even an expert, I was able to beat the computer crawled opponents easy. Huh. Like, I'm not going to open it. Someone probably bought it, then read the review, and I was like, fuck that game. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Fuck that game. Hmm. Yeah, definitely I'll continue getting PC and PS2 games. Like, I'll get, like, Halo and stuff on Xbox 360, an original Xbox. But at least I've filled out on Drive. Some of the PS1 section, right? Like, PS2 is blank. I've done PS3. I had Little Big Planet 2 in my hand. I was going to buy it, but then I thought, am I really going to play it in the next couple of weeks? I mean, I can buy it if it comes down further in price. That's one thing I'll look at as well. Like, how many copies do they have in the store? When did I last see it? And am I going to even play it? I ask all those questions. If I'm not going to play it, I'm happy to pay up to one, one pound. Like, if it's going to sit on the shelf. So that's why, like, Kingdom Hearts, we haven't played that, but that was quite expensive. But I can do a video on that, maybe. PS4, I've written the ones that I've got on disc, but I've got a lot more on the console. Right? PS5, I've got nothing in there so far. Xbox, I've got some to write down. And 360, I've got some to write down. So. Ah, there's one missing from here. Lemmings on Mega Drive.
Lemmings on Mega Drive. Once we get to the point where the levels are really hard on lemmings, it'll get so rewarding to actually finish them. Like, lemmings tribes is So it says here, Lemmings is one of the best received video games of the 90s. One of the most widely ported and best selling video games of all time. So it's literally te Tetris. This Oh No More Lemmings, that's on the PC one, right? And do you know who DMA Design Army are? I told you this before. Some people will remember what I say, some don't, right? DMA Design are Rockstar. They used to be called DMA Design, right? That's all you need to know about Lemmings, right? <laughs> Lemmings is the first Rockstar game I ever bought. Atari ST, DOS, Shut up. PC DOS, Super Nintendo, PC 98, Genesis, Turbo Graphics, 3DO, Mac, FM Town. Amiga. Hey, wait. On the PlayStation 1, Lemmings has 209 levels. We might need to get there. That's the one with the most amount of levels. But it doesn't have mouse control. So there's also Oh No More Lemmings, right? There's also, that is on different systems. It's also on PC, right? And there's Holiday Lemmings 93. Lemmings 2 Tribes, right? Now this, that is on Amiga, 
and on Mega Drive. On Amiga and DOS, it has mouse control. And on Amiga and DOS, it has fast forward. We love fast forward, right? Lemmings Chronicles is on Amiga and DOS. So you know what I think we're going to have to do? We're going to have to get the Amiga one. Lemmings Paintball, what the hell is that? Adventures of Lomax, what the hell is that? Hell of Lemmings 2, what? English. We should check what this is. Hell of Lemmings. <laughs> I opened the RAW file. Where the hell has it gone? Ah, here we go. Now, this looks like it's only DOS. This is not even going to open. If I do new folder. <clears throat> this won't work. 100%. It will say what doing. Yeah, see, I knew it. And that's all in German. And this this says here you need a 486 IBM PC compatible. And this says mouse. Five megabytes free on your best Platen Spear. So a platter disc hard. So hard platter disc. Learn learn German with Brad, right? Just by looking at that and knowing what it should say, you can tell what it fucking says. That's how to understanding languages, right? MS-DOS 5 or older. That literally says older. Right? <laughs> Mouse. <laughs> that was so cool, right? Yeah, VGA graphic card. So, it's so simple. <laughs> We're understanding German now. I reckon we can continue Lemmings Mega Drive, right? We need to figure out what level I've got up to, though. Not today, because I need to go to bed, obviously. Right, I'm going to get going. I'll see you later. But I think we had fun. I think I'm not impressed with PS1. Like, when I had a PS1, PS1 was all there was, right? It was the best system at the time, right? The PS2 blows away the PS1. And the good thing with PS2 is that a lot of these games I've never played before because I never had a PS2 before until now, right? I'd rather play PS1 games on an emulator in better graphics. 
So yeah, I'll see you later. I'll probably tomorrow I'll do a stream, but maybe Friday I'll take off.